in homes? Okay, I'm not actually on mute, mute, but can people hear me now? Okay, wow, well, I have a lot of gremlins tonight, which is just bizarre. My, I turned my computer on tonight, and it, um, and it basically, <laughs> it switched itself off again. So, um, lots of spirit in the air tonight, Easter Bunny spirits. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you for letting me know that you couldn't hear me. Oh, sorry, Reagan. You thought you phone your stuff. No, it turns out it's just uh, me with technical issues. So beautiful. Hi, Marvina. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Reagan. Reagan, thank you so much for letting me know. I had no sound. So to introduce myself again, I'm Rhonda Kelly. <laughs> I just said Happy Easter. We've got a great show lined up for you tonight. We've got Ben, Benjamin Graham, and we've got Sherry Vanterhag on tonight. So both amazing psychic mediums. Um, as I was saying before, but you didn't hear me, <laughs> if you would like your chance of having a reading, please ask your question and let us know that you've liked and shared the live stream. So as long as you've done that and you ask your question, then I'll be able to pick you for your chance of having a reading. Um, and we obviously have a 24-7 phone line. So we have psychics logged in at the moment, you'll be able to just look on the website uh, that's going across the banner on the bottom of the screen and also the numbers going across the banner on the bottom of the screen, uh, how you connect with the psychics. Let me welcome on Ben, our first guest. Hello, Ben. <laughs> hey, Rhonda, hello. So nice to hear you. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you said you couldn't hear me at the start. It was, it was yeah. the most bizarre. Normally, I... I I log on with plenty of time yeah. and I was doing all that. I switched my computer on and then it switched off. Went to um, <laughs> tether from my phone. My phone switched off. So I don't know what's going on tonight. <laughs> and then you couldn't hear me, which is really strange. Uh, it's all good, Ron. It's good to hear you now, though. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so uh, right. travel, I, mean, I mean, I'm sure people have, uh, I mean, I was on TV with you years ago. I'm sure people know who yeah. you are by now. Um, you know, you're very strong in your mediumship. You do a lot of platform mediumship. Hmm. Could you tell us what, you're, what you've got to offer us tonight for anyone course, who would like to read Oh, thanks, Rhonda. Of course. You know, tonight, Shirley and I, we're on here to um, just to do snippet readings, so to speak, you know, and you're going to have heaps of questions for us. Some of the questions you have tonight, um, you can probably answer those questions yourself. So throw out other questions if you can and things that you really want to know, you know, um, I'm a psychic medium, so what that means is that um, that I do I do a, I do um, like psychic work and mediumship work, which is a loved one, it's a family friend or or someone that, that you know who has passed away. Um, tonight we're going to do our best on your behalf. Um, I, I sort of say a prayer to spirit, if that makes sense. I believe, and I'm really strong at believing this, that anyone can do this. It's just like putting their work involved in, and, and really training. And I really believe that your loved ones talk to you. They don't really want to talk to us. It's just that we're open to hear them. <laughs> and I'll leave it there. Thanks, Rhonda. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we all have intuition. We all have that sixth mm -hmm. sense where we know when something's good or something's bad. We all, we actually all 100%. know that. Um, but 100%. And, and you've raised a good point, Ben, in getting people to ask questions they yeah. normally know the answer to themselves so having a think about what they actually want from the reading perfect thanks yeah. Rhonda. beautiful all right thank you for that let's bring on sherry hi Hello. happy easter i'm well thanks happy How are you? easter guys i'm good yes. i'm very exhausted but i'm still here and i've asked for lots of energy for tonight for you guys beautiful Absolutely. Well, well, so did I, but then I had technical problems. <laughs> you couldn't I hear know, me. and I was like, oh, <laughs> lucky you got onto that quick. It didn't take you long. So it wasn't too... Well, I, I saw... No, it wasn't. I mean, you know, <sighs> things happen, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much to the comments that I saw early on. So that was um, Regan and Jocelyn. So thank you so much. You saved the day. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so... Sherry, obviously you were, you've been on before and you're a favourite, but if you could tell the people watching what you're offering tonight, what you can do in readings. Um, I'm offering what, mediumship, uh, contact with loved ones, um, and also any questions they would like to ask me. I've been doing this 33 years. I've got my books tonight. I don't often show them, but I've got, I've got oh, one yeah, missing. Yeah, 100%. I've got the bloody, sorry, I shouldn't say that. The other <laughs> book's in the car. Yeah. My other one's in the car in the back seat, but I've got, I've got, uh, I'm really proud. I'm self-published of these products. Uh, one is Eternal Soul, the Afterlife, and it's about what happens when you die. The other one is How to Work with Your Angels, 
Um, it's got 50 prayers in the back. I love prayers. I'm doing prayers all the time. As uh, Ben said, we've talked to the angels before we come here tonight. We've asked for spirit. We, we converse with them. You guys have got to converse with your guides. They're, not, they're always with you. Um, I've got my angel prayer cards to connect with them, and I've got two little affirmation books. So, yeah, I don't normally talk about those, but they're available and um, oh, beautiful. Part, part of helping others help themselves. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll also give Harry T a plug. He's obviously the usual host, but his book has just come out. Oh, sorry, it's That's been next week. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming out, I believe, next week. And yeah. you can pre-order from Booktopia, which I've done. So I'm hoping to get one of the first batch. <laughs> he, shared, he shared a video <laughs> of him open, opening the box, and I thought, hopefully, mine's in there. So I'm manifesting <laughs> that. <laughs> get that as soon as possible. So that's a bit of a shout out to Harry T. Okay, I also, um, I did announce at the start, but you didn't hear me. <laughs> we have an Easter giveaway tonight, which is a $50, $50 voucher. Uh, so that's um, that's coming tonight. So you'll hear a bit more from that. You'll have to watch till the end of the show. <laughs> uh, but that's basically coming tonight. Alrighty, let me have a look at some questions for you both. Awesome. Okay. All right, Ben, I'm going to give you Malvina. Okay. Uh, hi, Malvina. Hi, Rhonda and Ben. Liked and shared. Can you tell me what I need to know for the next six months? Thank you and happy Easter. Thanks, Malvina. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you know what, Malvina, like um, the next six months, let's not worry about the next six months. Let's worry about what's going on now in your life. And, you know, <laughs> You're so organised in yourself anyway, and and I'm just going to validate stuff that you know. Um, I feel like that that you plan. It's like it's like you're planning your retirement, even though you've got a long way to go. It's like you're doing things like that. Um, you're a lady that's very very good with money, and you're a lady that that doesn't want a lot in life, but is happy what what she has. Um, I think that financially that you're doing really well. I, I really do. I think they're financially doing well. And, and you'll be yelling at the screen saying that you want to do better. But I think you're doing quite well. I think that you've got to stop it for a second there and, and just see where you've come from. I think that, that you're, you're kicking every goal that there, there is, you know. I don't know if there's a little bit of traveling or something like that, that. That's what you're thinking about. But you're sort of very so good with your money that you don't want to spend money to do that. Um, I, I'm going to say that once your bills are paid, I want you to start saving for a nest egg to go away. Let us know in the comments, but I can see a bit of travelling for you. I really can. It's just a short reading because I think that you're doing so well in your life that you don't even need a reading, and I'll leave it there. Thanks, Beautiful. Rhonda. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I was going to say it's not letting me hide the comment, but yes, it is. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for that. So also, I mean, as Ben said, it's just a little snippet snapshot reading tonight. Uh, and if you would like to connect with Ben or Sherry later on, you've got the extension numbers and I'll read them out later, but you can actually phone for more in-depth reading as well. Okay. What do we got? Yeah, that's, that's it. And you know what? I am going to wear my glasses. I'm, yes, I'm getting older. I'm wearing glasses now. There you go. I've got this, I've got this. No, I've just, I've just got this thing. I, I just know the crap I gave kids at school. Glasses are cool. What's wrong with it? <laughs> I know it's it's terrible. Okay, I'm just right, upgraded. I'll yeah. have you. All right. Well, oh, okay. my first, no worries. My first, All right. Yeah. So there you go. So Sherry, I'm giving you Jeanette Nettie Thomas. Hi. Yep. Liked and shared. My sister passed away. Is she okay? Okay. First of all, what she wants to say is happy birthday to you or to someone that's just come up or just been. Um, I feel like you had a very close connection with your little sister. Um, and I feel like she was a really funny person. I did very sad circumstances. I'm, oh, my chest is extremely heavy. And I also feel like I can't breathe and I feel very, um, I feel like, I just feel sad about your passing. I'm, I'm a bit shaky actually, um, not your passing, her passing. Uh, I just feel, I also get a massive amount of anxiety. So I don't know whether this has brought up sort of real a, a, a amount of anxiety in your life for you, gorgeous, because I just feel really anxious all of a sudden and I feel like you've been suffering a lot. I also feel very shaky. Um, like I'm shaking, my, my body is shaking. So um, I feel like she's more concerned with you than you are. She's fine. Remember, yeah. spirit are fine. They're always with us in in the um, in the next life they watch our path they're walking with us um 
it's just, this is a really hard one because I feel everyone's everyone's um, suffering right now and grief um, at the moment. I've got the butterfly sign um, as a sign from her. Okay. Um, I just feel like she was just a beautiful person and loved everybody. Uh, but I feel like her passing was a very difficult one. Just, uh, I hope this makes sense. Please let me know. Um, is there an M connection anywhere, either with her or someone that's passed that's with her um, or living? Because sometimes they mention the people that are, are living, okay? Um, and I also am seeing a lot of nature. So I feel like you've been stuck inside and you need to get out. And she's going, get out to nature. You've got to get out and you've got to breathe and you've got to just breathe in that earth energy. Um, that's all I need to say. I feel really I, re I feel really quite stressed. This is overtaking my emotions. It's a very unusual feeling that I'm getting here. Yeah. Um, I'm getting really hot. I'm getting very um, shaky and I, I, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. Normally mediumship is um, not so... How of the feeling I'm getting, I have to either stop and just say, I know she's okay, and please let me know if that makes sense because I feel like you are suffering a great deal and you just need to remove all your fear and anxiety and know that she's okay, she's always okay, and she does say happy birthday to someone. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Jeanette, and sharing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Take a breath. Well, while you're taking a breath, I'll uh, read out the phone numbers. So <laughs> the Australian number we've got is 02907-10199. The Canadian number is 177-8807-1426. The USA number is 1914-373-7280. And the worldwide number is 614-888-25177. And the psychics that we currently have logged in, so you can call them now and connect. Actually, after you watch the show, <laughs> call them and connect. <laughs> uh, we have Natalie Norton Baker on pin 9810. We have Psychic Steve on 9106. And we have Sonia on 9115. And I'm glad I put my glasses on because I thought it was 9113. And so, I put my, so it's 9115 for Sonia. Beautiful. All right, thank you so much for that. Let me give you another one, Ben. And also, if you can let us know your validations, that would be amazing as well. Okay, Ben, I'll give you Robert. Robert Arelj, I hope I said that right. Uh, liked and shared. Happy Easter. Can you tell me how my job hunt and finances look like? Thank you, Robert. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, you know, Robert, your, your finances are just scraping through. <laughs> they really are. They're just scraping through, you know, um, and with your jobs and stuff like that, you know, um, I'm a big believer, Robert, about putting it out to the universe, and but we've got to do some work as well, you know. It, it's, no one's going to throw jobs out us. We've got to do a bit of work as well. I feel like that, that you've probably got some sort of knack about doing something or some sort of trade or something on those lines, you know, and 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 maybe it's time for a change. It really is. Um, I want you to just, if a job comes, I want you to take it, even if it's not what you're after, because what happens, that just sort of creates other things for you. It's easier to find a job while you've got a job, believe it or not. So um, I want you to, to go on to Seek. I feel like I'm doing the commercial, but go on to Seek <laughs> and, 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 and have a look at Seek. And I'm, I'm, I believe that there's plenty of work out there. There really is. There's work out there if you want to work. And, and, Robert, I think that you do. But I think that you're very, very choosy and you're saying, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. But I want you to, to do something and take something on because why there's money coming in, everything will be fine for you, you know. I feel like that you're sort of a stand-up sort of guy. I really do. And and, and to be honest with you, I think you're, you're so liked. And I feel like women like you and men like you and you've got that personality. And I don't know, but I feel like that that you sort of – you tell people – um, about things and and you tell people about the jobs and and I feel like that you stand up for people but I want you to start taking some of your advice as well with the jobs I feel like that the the, the right job will come but not for a while I feel like they just take on a role and you haven't decided what you want to do that's what it feels like for me and you're being picky I just want you to take the job there's plenty of work out there there really is and I'll leave it there thanks Robert thanks beautiful Ron. thank you thank you for that Robert thank you Ben I'm also just going to give you a validation as well Ben this is from Marina. Uh, oh, thanks, Ben. Uh, you described me to a T. Yes, we are going to be travelling in May to where? Who knows? I, I believe she just went on a cruise as well, if I'm... Oh, did she? Oh. I've got that correctly. So travel was 100%. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Thank you for that. All right. Uh, let me give you this one, Sherry. 
Yeah. Um, so Regan was the lady who let me know I'd had no sound, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. So Sharon, this is for you. Regan's asked, liked and shared, was wondering if I I would end up moving out with Aiden, or maybe that's in with Aiden. Um, and if we do, would it have potential to go well or would he end up staying up staying where we are? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Regan. Um yeah, no, I feel like a move is really what's coming up for you. Um, I'm getting August and I get it straight away. It was a very positive thing. As soon as you said, if we'll end up moving out, like together, I feel it's great. I've got goosebumps all over me. Uh, movement is definitely on the cards for you, literally. Um, but um, I feel like there's going to be some wonderful celebrations too. I feel like you are a bright, bubbly soul, um, Regan, and you have a lot of love to give. Um, and I feel like... Um, it's good that you, you've still got that there, Rhonda, because I can tune into her beautiful face there. Oh, wow. um, I feel excited about this move and I feel like it will go 100% better than what you think. I'm getting a real amazing feelings about what's coming up for you um, in the next even three months. Um, I've got the lovers here, so that's really nice. If that makes any sense to you, I've got the Ace of Swords moving on from all that doesn't serve you. But patience and pour into your own cup right now. So it feels very positive. It doesn't feel negative at all. Straight away it feels good. Um, and I, I picked up the cards before and I, I, I knew this was going to be for someone. It was like a, re, a rebirth, okay? So a new cycle coming in and I've got the magic. It's time to bring and make your dreams come true. Um, I keep getting August. Um, what else do I need to say? I just feel like you're a bubbly bright person. You've got a really amazing attitude to life and I feel like you can do anything you want and I feel like you're very open spiritually and um, that you probably do see all those numbers that we see as well, all those angel numbers that we get. Um, yeah, he's, it is going to go well, I would feel, and there's a lot of love coming to you in your journey with the love card here. So I'm saying go for it, take a chance. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I also have feedback for you as well, Sherry, from okay. Jeanette. Uh, oh, my sister's yeah. name was Monique. Thank you for everything that was correct. Beautiful. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah, that was passing for her. It was a bit difficult to hear. Beautiful. Absolutely. I, I also just want to touch on something you said at the intro about um, connection to angels. I occasionally have in readings people say to me, I want to pray to the angels and I just don't know, I don't remember them all, I don't know which one. And I basically say, well, just manifest the intention say to the angel yeah. looking after finances or is that yeah. is that along the lines of what you do oh yeah of course yeah um a little yeah. bit a little bit like um like should i say what doreen used to do um but yeah the angel of, of life purpose the angel of career the angel of um a shamuel archangel of soulmates angel of uh, lakshmi even for finances um you know, um, a, a money affirmations do definitely work. And, yeah, Angel yeah. of Raphael, the divine physician, um, I always, when animals go missing, um, ask for the angel to look after, you know, Raphael to look after our healing and our health and also animals as well. Yeah, um, yeah there's, there's so much to learn. It's a beautiful path, the spiritual stuff. I'll shut up mm -hmm. as I'll keep talking. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, absolutely. That's basically, I, I, I just, I have that question more often than not. People say, I just, I don't remember yeah. it all. And I'll say, yeah, that's yeah, okay. no, just there's so many angels. Manager. We've got a million of them. Yeah, just the one, the intention is perfect. Yes. Beautiful. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so let me give you this one, Ben. Okay. Uh, so we have Carrie Burgess. Loved and shared, Rhonda, thank you. And I love the little um, shamrocks. My grandfather was Irish, <laughs> or four-leaf clovers, <laughs> I should say. Uh, we'd love to know how things will go for me at work in the next few months. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Thank you, Kerry. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, you know, Kerry, like, I feel like that um, you're strong-minded. You really are. And um, I feel like that That if, if work's not great, you make it great. Uh, I feel like that you've just got a knack of that. You know, you know when you work at work and you have people around you and you sort of don't like them or there's something about them that that doesn't sit with you. I feel like that you've you've got that ability to just to, to adapt. You really are. You're 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 sort of you can adapt very easily. Um, if you're not happy at work, do something about it. You know, I, I feel like that um that sometimes 
Sometimes closing one door definitely opens another door. And here I'm saying to Robert, just take a job. But with you, I feel that it's a little bit different. You know, I really do. I feel like that that if you're not happy with something, do something about it. You're quite clever and you're intelligent and you've got a lot going for you. You really do. And um, and maybe that it's like the, the workload. Maybe the workload's not what you want. And maybe there's a, a change that you can do in, in the, the job you have. Um, it's really up to you as a person, you know. Let us know in the comments if that any of that makes sense. But I feel that that you're quite clever about doing things, and you just need to do it if that makes sense for you. I, I feel that that work works okay. It really is. I feel that money comes through. You're good with money. Um, I feel that you've got a, such a big personality, and sometimes that people can't take to that. But don't you change as a person? You be you if that makes sense. And I'll leave it there. Thanks, Rhonda. Beautiful. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Ben. Okay, Sherry, I'm going to give you Sammy. Loved and Sherry, okay. I'm starting my modelling career. If there is anything mm -hmm. I need to know or any messages from past loved ones from myself or my fiancé. Thank you, Sammy. Okay, no worries. All right. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, I feel like there's a male around you, very strong. It's either father figure or a grandfather figure that is always with you. Um, <laughs> he's saying you've got to go for your dreams. So this is the one that guides you on your actual path in life. So I've got grandfathers that are with me that guide me for this path, my spiritual path, and they're going and they're encouraging you. My, my dad is almost like my business manager in spirit. You know what I mean? He guides me and I should listen to him more often, he says. Um, but anyway, so what I've got for you is this beautiful man is a father figure that either father or grandfather that guides you. There's a connection with the P initial. There's also something to do with the J um, and an A. Um, dreams, go for those dreams, girl. You've got visions, you know, you've got you've got to step outside your comfort zone is what he is saying to me. He, oh, I've got success. You've got success coming and bright aspects, good news. Um, and this is really, really good for you, okay? Um, I feel that like you are quite anxious about moving into the modelling career. I feel you're quite nervous about what it has to, um, you know, show you, but I feel like if you keep your head, you know, screwed on with just taking it one step at a time, remember there is no um, elevator to success, to, to success, you have to take the stairs. Remember that saying? Um, or you may not have just, you may have heard, heard, heard it now. I've got new beginnings for you and I'm told that we need to do as many readings as possible tonight, so I'll leave it at that. Good yeah. luck. Bye. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Awesome. And I also have some feedback for you as well. And I just deleted it. Not <laughs> so that's fantastic. I'm meant to be psychic. It, it was from Reagan, by the way. Um, oh, I unstarted it, by the way. That's what it, I did. No, I'll bring that up next time. That's okay. <laughs> All righty. Uh, this one for you, Ben. Uh, Gaylene okay. Blair Templeton, liked and shared. Would love any messages from Spirit, please. Receive with gratitude. Hello, Gaylene. You know, I've read for Gaylene before. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have, you know. The name sort of rings a bell to me. And, you know, I feel like that you're the card reader. Is that right? Just let us know in the comments. But I'm just getting my mind up. I think that you're the card reader. And I think that, um, that, that, that you've got that psychic ability of pretty sure that I said something about a house or something on those lines. That's what I'm getting in my mind. Is it mum? Because it just felt like that as I was talking to you, I felt like that mum would be in the spirit world. Let us know in the comments, so, but I feel like that mum would be connected with mum's mum in the spirit world, your, your grandmother. I don't know if, if you're wearing something of hers or you've got something, but it just felt like some sort of chain or watch or something on those lines, but it felt like it was silver. Um, let us know in the comments if you've had that, but I just felt like that as well. And when I'm saying that too, maybe she had arthritis in her, her wrist as well, because I feel like my hands are quite sore, if that makes sense. You know, you know your loved ones around there. You talk to them anyway. I feel like they're sending you signs, and it'll probably be magpies or something on those lines. Let us know in the comments if you're feeding them, though. But that's what I feel like. I feel like that's what this she's showing me in my mind, if I can say it that way. Do keep up the good work. I feel like that you've got a nice heart and you're a good person. And I really feel like that that you you give things to everyone. And and it might be it might be um it might be just your words and stuff like that. But I feel like that that you've got a I don't know you've just got a nice aura about you, if that makes sense. I'll leave it there. Thanks, Rhonda. Beautiful. Thank you, Ben. And some validation for you. I didn't delete yours <laughs> uh, from Carrie. Thank you so much, Ben and Rhonda. It makes a lot of sense. Thank you to me and Ben. Beautiful. Thank oh, you for that. Thank so you. we appreciate your validations. And if I can also request that you only write your question once 
uh, we do get a lot of comments. So as it scrolls down, <laughs> we, you know, we, can, we only need to see it once and then star that. So, um, okay. All right, let me, okay. So Jocelyn's just um, alerted that Regan's feedback was for you. That's right, but I'm still looking for it. So, <laughs> so we'll get to that shortly. <laughs> talk amongst yourselves um i also just want to give a, a shout out to um this is a little bit off track but i i went to an easter function yesterday and it was absolutely wonderful it was just a lunch with friends and there were about 50 people there but there were some really um talented veteran australian musicians oh, nice. that performed uh so oh, if, if awesome. you're into australian music really talented people who play they're kind of like the Bill Bailey of Australian musicians. They play a lot of instruments. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Mel Webb, um, Andrew Claremont, and Phil Hungerford. If you want to look at their YouTube, if you if you really like Australian music, um, I'll give give them a bit of a plug. <laughs> okay, my, sorry, my uh, what's actually happening is my comments are freezing. So I'm obviously having technical problems with the sound and with this. So as I'm looking, I'm I'm suddenly losing it. <laughs> okay. That's All okay. Right. To... Yeah, so I, I literally can't see them because they're disappearing. So, Sherry, I'm going to give you this one from Carolyn Thomas. Liked and shared. Thank you, Carolyn. Been a tough seven years, just experienced upheaval in my life. What does the rest of 2024 hold for me, please? Okay. I read for Carolyn last time, two weeks ago, and I did say that she has a good future ahead of her. Um, okay. So um, I'm just going to do make it very brief. I did say that she's got a lot of good coming to her. Um, so I feel like it's it's it does feel like it's a mountain that she's climbed, but she needs to co again said to her co-create your reality and start speaking existence to into existence what you want to create, and start to feel better about yourself. I feel like things are going to improve. I've got you need to get out into nature. Okay, this will be your beacon, and you need to send send. The, um, all your worries to the angels, the beacon of light, the angels that guide us all the time, 24-7. Um, you know, they, and also they have such a, let's just say they have such an amazing time guiding us when we hear and feel and see them. So the more you can open up to that, I've got goosebumps, the more your, the better your life is going to be. It's going to flow. I've got more money coming in. So, okay, show me the money. Uh, Tom Cruise, show me the money. I feel like you need to say this is happening for you. And I, I know that it has been a struggle. Um, you've learned your boundaries. Uh, but I do, it's time for you to receive now, okay? That's what they're saying. And, and you've, you've climbed a mountain and you're coming down the other end and you can breathe and it will get better for you. But I know um, that I did read for you last time. And, yeah, and I feel like it's positive. Um, what else do I need to say? Anything else? That's it. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. All right, so I'll found that validation for you again <laughs> from Regan. Okay. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Sherry. I'm so concerned it would be a bad decision, but you've made me yeah. excited. And I've been told I'm very optimistic and bubbly. I'm always seeing angel numbers and very open spiritually. Spot on. Thank you, dearly. Beautiful. Thank you so That's much okay. for that. I think people are always worried about what the worst can happen rather than the best can happen, mm. and that's a message to everyone. And also, um, Ben, you didn't see me ring oh, the bell before you got the bell. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> did you hear it? <laughs> I did hear it. Yes. Oh, that was you. I thought I was. I, th I thought it was a technical issue. I was hearing things because <laughs> I did. Well, I mean, I it rings think the bell. It was just um, spirit, but then I saw you. I saw you smirk, and I thought, no, we heard it as well. Just <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> Right, okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, so what I'll do is start off with a validation for you, Ben. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll start off the validation for you, Ben, before I give you your question. Okay. And I don't know if you can see that. Oh, wow, I love that, the crows. Can you see that? That's just fine. Yeah, I can, yeah. Oh, you can, yeah, yes, beautiful. Yes, Mum is in spirit. I, I read cards just for myself. I have crows yeah. that come and visit. I let them eat. <laughs> eat the apple from the tree thank you i do talk to my spirit family often have a blessed night that's absolutely that's beautiful. yeah beautiful. yeah ben's um ben's i love ben's readings because they're quite quirky he'll he'll name the specific perfume or something like that it's it's quite cool <laughs> oh thanks Rhonda. beautiful all right thank you for that okay i'm going to ask give you this question ben from okay. Diane, I have liked and shared. I recently lost my daughter. I would like to know if my late daughter is at peace and 
is she with loved ones? You know, yeah. Um, whew, Diane, like, you know that, you know. It's, I, I wish you could do what I do and, and I want you to feel that your daughter would be around you all the time. At different, I, should, I shouldn't say all the time, but at different times, you know. When you're, in, when you're in the car and stuff like that, she would be with you and she'd be nagging you and she'd be showing you little signs. And I want you to, I want you to feel, and I want you to feel sometimes when you feel her, you feel her, her presence. I want you to just to, to acknowledge that. You know what? As you said goodbye to her, I know that someone would have received her in the spirit world, so to speak. You know, and you'll you'll see her in your house as well. There'll be things that will be reminding you of her and stuff like that. I don't know if you can smell her or there's a scent or something that 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 you have of her. But in your house, I don't know. But in your house, I'm smelling like lavender or something like that. So I don't know if she liked purple or or purple was her colour or something like that. I'm saying I can smell lavender, but I'm seeing purple for some reason. But that's what it feels like. For me, if that makes sense, you know, and I, I believe that as uh, in the spirit world or in heaven and stuff like that, she'll be waiting for you. One day you're going to greet her again. You really will. I don't know if there's a cat in the spirit world, but I feel like that I've got cat hair on my face. I, I feel like that she might have been a cat lover or something on those lines as well. And you know what? I feel like that, that she's with your husband's mum or someone like that, even though that they mightn't have met or they mightn't be very close, but if someone like that, if, that, if I could say that as well. You know, your heart is a big, strong heart, and I want you to remember that she, no matter what she She's always around you and I don't know but it's like I don't know if you've toasted for her or something on those lines and, and maybe and the way I'm saying toast maybe it's just toast itself or something on those lines I don't know but let us know in our comments but you know what there's there's no quick fix and, and and no one knows what you're going through but your little girl would be always around you she really will she'd be always around you I don't know if you bought her a little chain or something like that but it might have been a bluebird or something like that on those lines but I've seen that in the back of my mind and maybe she had that when she was quite young or something on those lines and I'll leave it there but I'll send out the love and light to you as well okay and just remember that your little girl's in the car with you at different times and she can hear you I feel like that she's quite busy on the other side I really do and so just be patient with her and I'll leave it there thanks Rhonda beautiful thank you for that Ben thank you Diane okay so logged on at the moment we have Natalie Norton Baker on pin 9810 we have Psychic Steve on 9106 <coughs> we have, we have Renoita on 9112 and Sonia on 9115. Okay, so I'm going to give you Sherry Teresa. Um, yep. Have not loved and shared. Happy Easter. Yep. <laughs> um, please may I ask for any messages from Spirit Guides for the next few months, please and thanks. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, okay. Um, the first thing I'm getting is don't let your thoughts uh, take over. Don't let your worries take you over because I feel like you're very worried and stressed about a lot of things um, and there's been a lot going on for you all at once. It feels like, you know, you're just like, oh, my God, how am I going to get through this kind of phase? Um, but I feel like life is taking a new direction for you and I feel like you need to cut ties, release and let go of all the, some stuff that you just don't need or want anymore. Cut ties, release, let go. New direction. I'm going to say to you, I feel like good karma is coming in here. I've got goosebumps. Good karma. Um, you are a beautiful soul. You're a good person. I can't see you there, but I just know that you're a really good person. And I feel that you've done it tough and you've had it difficult. You can take that away now if you like, um, my love. Um, I feel like you're on the right track. This is the spirit world saying you're on the right track. Um, I also see that there's someone around you in spirit, which is a beautiful grandmother or a mother figure that you held the hand when they passed. Um, and I'm hearing and, and like a Miriam name or an M name. Anyway, I've got these, this beautiful hand, this this holding hands, and and also it's a sign of now that person, oh, I've got goosebumps. Oh, I've got chills. Now that person's in spirit. You were holding their hand when they needed you. Now they're saying they're holding your hand now when you need them. Oh, God, that's a beautiful message. Wow. And I've got here, that is the angels there, your guides, your angels are with you. You asked about your angels. I've got blessings, guidance, and angel support here for you um i could go on forever and i just feel that you need to really trust yourself the worst is over um and i'm going to say the next six months is going to get a lot better for you okay darling but yeah sending you lots of love because you're just a beautiful soul i can feel you beautiful thank you for that yes she is and we have a validation for you sherry as well uh, oh. thank you so much sherry we'll be holding a positive holding on to positive and we'll call on the angels for assistance easter blessings sweet soul beautiful thank you so much for that you're welcome okay beautiful. 
Yeah. Okay. I'll give you this one, Ben, um, from <laughs> Naomi. Like and share. Happy Easter to you all. If drawn to me, I would like to know where I should go next in my career. Oh, that's a good question. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's a really good question. It's, uh, you know, you've got so many ideas in your mind. You really do. And I don't know if you've opened up a business or you've had a business before or something on those lines. Well, maybe that's something that, that's going through your mind. Um, I feel like that at the moment that you're just, I think that you're in a, such a good place that you don't need anything to um to weigh you down. I don't know why, but I just feel like that you've done the hard yards. I want you to to relax it and just enjoy life a little bit for some reason. But that's what I'm getting. You know, I don't know if you've been to Bali or or, or Thailand or something on those lines. Let us know in the comments. But I see that sort of stuff. I feel like that um that you need to 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 do a bit of meditation or something like that. I don't believe in that sort of stuff, but I feel like that you do. And I feel like that you you need that for yourself. Um, I feel like that. You're, you're, you're such a strong character that um that you've done the hard yards and now's the time to enjoy it. I don't want too much going on on your plate at the moment because I want you to relax and enjoy stuff and enjoy your life a little bit more. I feel that that, that you're so driven and I feel that um that that you make things happen. So if you put that on the back burner just for about six months, I feel like that that's going to be waiting for you. So don't panic, okay? Um, I don't know, but is, is there an online business or something like that you're thinking about? But whatever you put your mind to happens. I don't know. Like, you know, when someone's broke, you, you open your purse and there's $50 there. It's just, I feel like that, that's the sort of person you are. Let us know in the comments, but I feel like that, that you don't need to rush into anything. Everything else will be there when you when you're ready. I think just enjoy life a little bit more. I think I just think that that you can come back to that. I think that you're so driven that um, that things happen for you anyway. And and um and, and it doesn't matter what I say tonight that you'll make decisions for yourself anyway. And I'll leave it there. Thanks, Rhonda. Beautiful. Thank you for that, Ben. You're welcome. Okay, Sherry, I'm going to give you Nicole. Um, yep. Nicole would like a general reading. She did have another post saying she'd liked and shared. A general reading for the next three months. Thank you, Nicole. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, no worries. I'm just having a look at her there. Okay. Um, first of all, I get you very tired. I get very drained, very tired. I feel like I'm like struggling. Um, I feel like your throat track is a little blocked at the moment. So um, I feel like you need to speak up and speak your truth. The spirit world is saying, say how you feel. Okay, mm -hmm. Nicole, say how you feel and speak your truth, whether you need to speak up to someone um, or people around you or anything, any situation, a particular situation, and uh, it is speaking up. It's learning to speak up about what you you need. You, you have needs, desires and rights, um, and I get you worried a lot with the moon. Okay, so you've got some worries, but they're saying if you speak up and you start to speak about what you really want and share and communicate, mm -hmm. the burden will be lifted. Remember, the spirit world often says to me, it's not your burden to carry, dear one, and they absolutely carry our own burdens. We sit here worrying, stressing, and we should hand it over to God, the universe, source, divine energy. We should give it because you do have a new beginning here and you have a lot of peace coming. And you've just got to realise, you know, you are at, we're, everyone has planted a seed of learning. We're born to learn. And what are we learning? We're learning We're learning to become the best version of ourselves. Right now, I feel like you're really tired. I want to give you a big hug. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. Um, I feel like life has been a struggle. I'm seeing your son or people or your children maybe playing instruments or learning instruments or music is very important in your life. Um, they need to learn instruments or music. Um, and... I'd say the next three months is a really a self-love time because I've got here love. Pour it into your own heart, but self-love um, and everything will work out for you and it's going to get better. I feel that you'll have a breakthrough, okay? Beautiful. Thank you for that, Sherry. I also have some feedback for you. From no worries. And it's disappeared again, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'll give you I'll give you a different feedback, but that's okay. I'll find the other one. So, feedback okay. from Teresa, which is covering you. Uh, thank oh, you, Sherry. Okay. My grandmother, my paternal grandmother, was named Ma Margaret. Um, yep. I did not hold her hand as she died, but she had Alzheimer's and were all around her when she passed. It's been a tough with my children who both have autism. I'm moving towards believing in me and my gifts and psychic mediumship. Thank you again. Yeah, that's Beautiful. okay. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Beautiful. Okay, I'll find the other one for you. Um, yes. I do also have feedback for you, Ben. Um, oh, okay. Oh, here it is. Yes, I'll give you, sorry, Sherry, I'll just give you 
that other one. Uh, so oh, we have that one. Holding on. Oh, you've already had that? Beautiful. Yeah, that's all, cool. all good. Okay, yeah. beautiful. So I've done them all. All yeah. right, so one for ben. ben and I do have a feedback from you for you as well um, okay. from Naomi. Um, I've had, thanks, Ben. I've had a rough mm. trot, but I've always been very driven, hard worker. Would love to go to Bali. I do meditation and I could fit in some more. I have faith and know that there is a plan. Just feeling a little bit stuck right now. Okay. And that's okay. We all do. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Okay, let me... Let me give you this one, Ben, from Sam Brooks. Hi, loved and shared. Can you see me changing jobs this year? You know, Sam, that's the question that um, that that you got to make just during decisions. That's something that you have to make. You know, I can say, yeah, change jobs. It's going to be amazing and stuff like that. But you know, that's something that you need to do. And and for you to ask the question, obviously, you need to change jobs because that's what you're asking. That it's, it's like I'm just got to validate what you already know. And you know, if if things aren't working out where you are and stuff like that, you know, the life's so short. It really is. As long as you have the income to pay your bills and stuff like that, um, you know, change jobs, do something else. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I feel like that um, that you're capable of doing a lot of stuff. Um, maybe you work on a computer. Maybe you, I don't know. I feel like that I've just seen a strain post in my mind for some reason. I don't really work there, but I just I just seen that sort of thing. So maybe you're work, waiting for some packages. I, I don't know. Let us know in the comments. But only my mind just see that sort of stuff. But I seen the Australian post. Um, but you know what? If you want to leave your work, get that job full hand, you know, and, and start putting it out there. Start trying something new. Maybe it's a, sometimes a change is good, you know, sometimes a change is what you need. I feel like that you're, you know, that you're doing okay. And, and sometimes that the bad stuff isn't that bad, but we make it a big deal out of it, if that makes sense. I'll leave it. Thanks so much, Rhonda. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And we do have feedback for you, Ben, uh, okay. from Diane. Thank you so much, Ben. She did have lavender oil on when she passed away. Nice. Cool. Thank you for that. So that was, again, the, the scents. You pick up the perfumes and you pick up the oils. So, um, just, Claire, yeah, Claire Aliens. Very, yeah, or Claire. Or Claire Aliens. Oh, no, it's called, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's called both, isn't it? Um, okay. All right. So this is for you, Sherry. Uh, I'd like to yes. share it. May I please have a reading on love? What do you see happening for me? Oh, we've got our first love reading for the night. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I like love. Oh. Do you? All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay. Well, I do believe that you um, um, have a soulmate coming in and um, I can see you dancing. I see that it's probably... On the way, this person is not far or on the way to you or around you. There's someone that's interested in you. And um, I can see dates and coffees and dinners and all that sort of stuff. Um, okay, so in the past, I feel you've had people that have maybe just not listened, okay? So they're not, you keep talking and they're not listening to you and they're not hearing you. And you, because you're a strong woman, and I feel like you, want to be heard and you you know you're not being validated okay so everyone needs to be validated we need to be heard um i've got the starting again there's a new beginning here um i just see happiness coming in um if you're already with someone i see it's things are going to get really really good um but if you're not with someone which i don't think you are i think someone is coming into your life or around you soon let me just keep looking at you there for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, it's I, I, okay. So Spirit have just told me that you know what you want. You're very clear now on what you want. And because you're very clear on what you want, the universe is going to deliver. So that's what's making sense to me. Um, yeah, that's that's it. It's, I feel that because you have um, a clear understanding now of what you want, um, then you are heading in the right direction here. You're it's in your own power. And I feel like there is a man around here with the romance and the roses. Look at this. Do, do, do. And I also hear the name Joe. I don't know whether that makes any sense. But let me know. Give, me feed, give us feedback. Let us know if that makes sense. Absolutely. We absolutely <laughs> love feedback. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Thank you for that. And we've just, um, you know, it tends to sort of happen one after the other and it's a little slow and then you suddenly get about six at once. So <laughs> and I deleted some. So there you go. <laughs> Keep sending it to us. 
All right, thank you for that. So Ben, I've got Sheree for you. Okay. Uh, loved and shared. Thanks for sharing tonight. What do you see for me and my beautiful family in the next couple of months or anything from spirit would also be fine? Thanks, Ben. Oh, yeah, okay. Sheree, you know, you're just such a regular and, and I've read you like, I don't know, probably a dozen times probably, <laughs> maybe that not many, but I've read you a lot. I really have. And, and I've actually <laughs> met you in person. So you, you're so lovely and, you know, I feel that that you're 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 a strong-minded person, and family is so important to you. And when I met you, I could tell, like when I met your husband, and that your yeah, family is important. You know, you haven't got a lot, but but what you have, you hold on to dearly. I, I really do. I feel like that you, that that your childhood was pretty tough, and and, um, and that, that's that's pretty general. But but your childhood was childhood was tough, and um and I, was, I feel like that you went without and and things like that, and behind closed doors, it wasn't amazing. But you've changed that in yourself. You really have. And I know you've got a son because you've mentioned it before. And I know that he's doing really well. I know he's a gentleman. I, I, I know all that anyway. But I know that you have dogs and you like pets and stuff like that. But I think that you're doing so well in your life. And, and it's like that you don't, I don't think you need anything else in your life. I feel like that you're you're comfortable. You really are. Um, you know your loved ones are around you or your husband's loved ones are around you. You know all that sort of stuff. I know there's a young lady in the spirit world as well. I just felt like that as I'm trying to link in and I feel like that she gets my attention and maybe it's an aunt. No, it's, I feel like it's a cousin or something like that in the spirit world, but she could look quite young to me. She, I, know, I, know, I don't really like to use butterflies and stuff like that, but I felt like that I've seen a butterfly flying around and maybe it's a blue butterfly for some reason. Let us know in the comments, but you know she's with you and maybe there's a thought process that you're thinking about her just recently or maybe that it's an anniversary or something like that. Definitely let me know in the comments, but in my mind, I've seen a butterfly flying around, but I feel like the butterfly flies to a few family members, so maybe a few cousins and stuff like that. So she's around all of you, if I could say it that way, and I'll leave it there. Thank you, Rhonda. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So you have a thank you from Sam, Ben. Oh, okay, thank you. There you go. Thanks, thank you for that. All right, beautiful. So also remember we're giving doing a giveaway tonight. So we're doing a giveaway of fifty dollars. Uh, so that's for a person I'm going to um, come to pick from the comments. Um, I've got a few to choose from. I haven't cho haven't chosen them yet. Okay, so I believe I've given you oh one more validation for you, Sherry. Um, from Katika. Uh, spot on about the past and thank you for the great news about my soulmate coming soon. So beautiful. Thank you for that. And okay. you also had from um, Nicole a thank you, which is which is lovely. Um, apologies, I'm having de technical issues and I can't see I can't see the posts. It's, I sort of see them and then they go away. All right. Um, I'm going to give you Antoinette Sherry. Liked and shared, okay. would love a message. Thank you. Okay, all right. <laughs> Antoinette, I feel you're very strong and you can achieve whatever you like. Um, I feel like you have a lot of goals and dreams and um, I'm, I love the rainbow because the rainbow you put there is a similar uh, sort of like symbolic of the angels and the guidance that's around you at the moment. There's always a, ra a rainbow around you and of a protection. And I just feel like you, um, you're a very determined person. Um, you you stick to your own bubble, you stay in your own light, and I just feel like that you have got answers coming and you've got goals you want to achieve and you're on the right path, okay? Uh, I've got the Ten of Cups, so this is like fulfilment, like the best cups, you know, it's like hearts. It's like you've got a full, a full heart, a full family, full, um, I don't know, just good energy coming in and around, and around you right now, okay? That's the message from Spirit. Um there's an ending of something, you're walking away from something that I think is the right thing to do. If you've been thinking about making decisions, then that's correct. I've got love heart, the red love heart, so um, whatever that symbol means there. Um, but it means also that what you're doing is you're going to move into what you love. It's what I feel, okay? And, you, again, I get you're very strong and capable and you're really clear. Um, a, lot of people, so a lot of people don't know what they want and that's okay too, but I feel I can tell the difference with someone that does and does does know what they want and doesn't know what they want. And I absolutely feel that you do know what you want and you're very strong and empowered in that way. Um, what other message is there for you? All right. Um, Betty, I just feel good stuff is happening. I want to swear and say good. <laughs> good S is happening. 
you know, you're going to celebrate. Lots of good things are coming in. You, you're a go-getter. I feel you're really, like, powerful and strong. And the spirit, your team, your spirit world and your team is saying go for those dreams, you know, and go for it. You're getting sort of like, yes, you're on the right path. And, yeah, a lot of positivity, um, especially coming out of a, a, a difficult space. Whatever idea, I'll shut up now, whatever idea you've got, you've got to go with it, listen to your gut feeling and thumbs up, go for it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, right. so I'll give you <laughs> um, just some beautiful comments. Um, Devine has said Happy Easter to us all. So thank Happy you. Easter. Likewise, Happy Easter. Happy to Easter to everybody. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, this one, Ben, from Just Regardant. Uh, love the frog. <laughs> Liked and shared. Hello. Please tell me if you see anything for me. Hey, anything you think that would be appreciated. Thank you, Just. Yeah, you know, yeah, um, you know, like. Let us know in the comments, but when when Rhonda read that out, I don't know, but i just seen a lot of books around you and I, and I just, I don't know, I was getting a headache because I feel like that, um, that, that you must read a lot or something on those lines and, and I don't know, I've just seen a lot of books around you, so... Um, I feel like that that you lose yourself and you you read and and you, your your imagination is is amazing. Um, I like the photo as well, but I feel like that you've got such a good imagination and I feel like that that um that that you can put anything out there and and it sort of happens for you. And I don't know if if there's been a separation or something on those lines, but but I, I got a sharp pain in my heart as well when 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 that question was read um is there a father in the spirit world too i don't know but it just felt like something on those lines to me i you probably couldn't see but i just felt like that a, a man just came over my shoulder and i just felt like that he got my attention and but he felt like quite young for me for some reason but it just felt young let us know in the comments but you know what the the universe is listening to you and i know i keep using that phrase but the universe is listening to you it really is and i don't know what you're doing but whatever you're doing is 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 good um i feel like that 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 you're very judgmental and and you're probably judging you're probably judging me the way i'm reading it but you're very very <laughs> judgmental and and I, I feel like that but that's that's who you are and and that you don't share that but but you have fun with that if that makes sense you probably don't have to let me know in the comments of that part but i feel like that's your personality if i could leave it that way thanks very much Rhonda. Beautiful. thank you beautiful thank you and the last feedback of the night for you ben from sheree thank okay. you Thank uh, thanks, Ben. That's right. And Sheree came to our platform event as well. We she did. did. Yeah. Florence. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's that's right. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Yeah, me too. <laughs> thanks, Ben. <laughs> uh, yes, we didn't have a lot when we were a kid as one of, one, one of five girls. So parents yeah. done did their best to give us what they could. My sister and spirit were just having a reading from Florence where she was brought up last week so we could um, be around so she could be around us. Um, didn't need anything but would love to upgrade my house. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Sheree. Well done, okay, Sheree. beautiful. Thank you for that. Oh, beautiful. And I'm just going to give some general feedback to both of you because you've both been amazing. You've been on fire. Uh, Katika said the energy is amazing tonight. Wonderful messages. We appreciate you. Happy Easter. Oh, thank you. thank you for that, Katika. And Naomi has said, Sherry and Ben are so tuned in tonight. Absolutely. Your connections appear effortlessly, effortless, but so detailed and accurate. Thank you for sharing gifts so generously. Sending blessings to you all tonight. Thank you so much, Naomi. Really appreciate that. All right. Let me give you uh, one more um, for you, Sherry. Okay. Um, so Gianna Frost Lewis, I'd like to okay. share. What do you see coming up for me? Been a tough year, gone through a marriage breakup. Thanks, Sherry. All right, for darling. Sharing. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I feel like you have gone through a terrible time with uh, the, the, the lead up to the breakup. I feel the lead up to it was very difficult for you and I feel like something came out of the blue and maybe that person has done the wrong thing by you. Okay, that's all I'll say there. Um, they're saying happy birthday to you, darling, either you or someone else that's just been or come up, so they're acknowledging a birthday um, to you. Um, I feel like you want to travel or you're planning to go on a, on a trip and you need to go away and I feel like this is going to really help you re connect with your soul, with who you are. You've lost yourself for a little bit here and I feel you'll find yourself again. Remember that you are you are in the master of your own destiny, right? And I've got here, have gratitude for all that's coming because your future self is definitely going to thank you. 
So have gratitude. And I say this, instead of having worries, turn worries into gratitude when you're worrying about something or stressed or don't focus on the things you don't want, focus on the things you want. Give thanks and have gratitude for what you want is coming. Your future self is going to be very happy. I also see that you need to work on your higher self, which is your soul self, and a bit of meditation would be good for you. Let me tune in again just to your energy there, gorgeous girl. I really feel like you need time off. You need a holiday. You need a break. That's what they're saying. Are you thinking about taking a break? <clears throat> Are you thinking about having a holiday? I feel like you need Archangel Michael with you, so I'm going to peel. Peel? I'm going to peel. I'm going to pull. I'm going to, you don't need any pills. I'm going to pull you a deck, a card from the Michael um, um, deck. So, because I feel like you need, you need to talk to those angels and Michael's going to cut close to what you don't need. Pray from the heart. Okay, so speak to those guides and your answers will be, you know, you will have answers coming in from spirit and angels are with you. Signs, numbers, feathers, coins, birds, all those lovely things. Okay, um, you're going to have a great year. Okay, it's your years. Create it. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Thank what you. a what a great great reading to end on. Uh, and yeah. also, Sherry, you have feedback from Nicole and Antoinette, both saying amazing. Thank you. Spot on. God, it was encouraging. So so. Thank you again. Thank That's you okay. again. Ben and Sherry, you've been sure. amazing. Um, fantastic readers. And fun. are you both going to be logged in tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, just for okay, a short beautiful. time. We've got readings sure. tomorrow, so just a short time. Yeah. Sure, that's Thanks, okay. Thanks, Ben. Good All to work right. with you again. Good to yeah, work with you, Ron. Happy Easter to see you. Happy Easter to everybody. Happy yes. no, yeah, happy Easter. Easter. So you can Easter. call Ben on 9116 or Sherry on 9114 if you'd like to connect with them after the after the live, which is now. <laughs> and logged on, we still have Natalie Norton Baker on pin 9810. We have... Ren Renuita on 9112 and we have Sonia on 9115. So there was now five psychics logged on. I'll be on very briefly. I'm on 9897. Uh, so there'll be six psychics logged on tonight. Uh, some of us briefly, but if you'd like to have a more in-depth reading, if we've um, read for you tonight or if you've missed out on the reading tonight, you can still have a reading on the phone line. Thank you so much to all your feedback and I, I've seen comments of support to each other. It's um, absolutely beautiful. Really, really do appreciate that. And I haven't forgotten about our $50 giveaway. Um, I asked Spirit for guidance and I just kept getting the letter A. I was just drawn to A. Just the, And then I asked Spirit if it's the start or the end of the name and I got the start of the name. So um, I, I've basically just worked from Spirit of who I picked up. Um, and the winner I've... I'm giving it to is Andrew Oldham, Oldham um, so, who said early on, um, hello, Rhonda, Ben and Sherry. So, Andrew, you've won the $50 voucher for this evening. To claim that voucher, you do need to email production at psychictvaustralia.com and email just email to let them know that you're the one who uh, was chosen tonight. I'll also... I mean, we've got the live <laughs> as evidence that I've, I've selected you, but uh, that's how you actually claim your $50 credit on Psychic TV. Um, but that's basically what the Easter prize is. So happy Easter, Andrew. Happy Easter to everyone. Uh, thank you again. <laughs> Beautiful feedback. Thank you, Alison. Um, great show. Um, thank you, everyone, who supported us. Uh, wished everyone else happy Easter. Um, as you know, we've got... I've mentioned the people logged on. Um, you can always look on the website, psychictvinternational.com, and see who's logged on. Um, the Australian number to call is 02907 10199. The Canadian number is 177 The USA number is 191437372280. And the worldwide number is 61488. Uh, 25177. So if you'd like to have a reading now or at any time, you can have a look on the website, psychictvinternational.com and see who's logged on. And then you can have your reading uh, by pressing the pin number of the psychic that you would like. Uh, but that's the show for this evening. Thank you so much, everyone who's watched it. So Andrew, this is the email address for you to email. Um, and they'll be waiting for your email. So they've got your contact details and able to give you that credit 
for uh, the phone lines. That's amazing. Um, happy Easter to everyone. Uh, apologies for having no sound at the start, but hopefully I've made up for it. Um, looking forward to seeing Harry T next week. Um, and as I mentioned, his book's coming out. So um, if you follow Harry T on Facebook, you can actually see how to get the book on booktopia.com. Thank you so much, everyone, and happy Easter. <laughs>